I invite you to do one thing with me. Take a deep breath in. Then breathe out. We breathe in oxygen, breathe out carbon dioxide, and other waste. In this waste, there are hundreds of biomarkers, the chemical traits that can be explored to how healthy you are or not. If we can precisely measure these biomarkers in breath, we can constantly monitor our physical health condition and diagnose disease without any invasive process like needles, for example. The high level of acetone in breath indicates diabetes. And there are more than 1.4 million diabetes in Australia, and that costs people a lot. To make it worse, most of patients have to do daily blood tests to monitor their blood sugar level. And my research aims to replace this painful blood test to a simple breast test. But breast is a complex mixture of gases, and we need a sensor that is very sensitive and reliable. So I design and create a nanowire sensor that to detect the acetone in our breath. Nanowire is a tiny, very structure and a hundred times thinner than human hair. And I should say I grow the nanowire. I guide the growth of crystal in a specialized chamber, and, uh, which is run by a digital machine that I write computer code for to tune the growth condition in the chamber, encouraging the crystal to form a highly ordered nanostructure. What I end up with is a bunch of nanowire with exactly the same size and shape. And this nanowire can absorb acetone easily. And when you breathe on this nanowire sensor, a chemical re reaction happens. The electron moves from acetone molecule to the nanowire and making it more conductive. We know there is acetone in breath because we can measure the electricity change in the nanowire. And my research has produced the nanowire sensor that can tell you whether you have diabetes. Of course, this is not the end of story. Next, I will insert this nanowire sensor into a whistle-like structure so patients can directly breathe in to monitor their acetone level. By man manipulating the nanowire structure and the surface chemistry, we can also detect other disease biomarkers, like the kidney disease and even liver cancer. In the future, your wasted breath might just help us blow disease away. <laughs>